This is what happens when energies speed up, we begin to see what we have manifested earlier so now we can make a correlation. Last night I was talking to my neighbors and her mother Sue came along. She asked about the cat flap and if there is a problem with other animals getting in the house. I said no, it's been pretty good, and at night time because I have the big door shut, there's no problem. Blah blah blah. A couple hours later Merlin comes tearing through the cat flap, runs around the living room and then starts to focus on the bookshelf. I look at what he's chasing because there is definitely something there, a mouse. It got away, Merlin stood down eventually, and I could see what Sue had manifested for me very readily. I just hope none of those black cats with the white stripes down their backs try to get in. They smell pretty bad. Me, Ivo, I see this as something that Sue manifested for me. I never really gave other animals coming in the cat flap any thought, but she was worried about it and directed that energy to me. I responded by saying, no, there's never been any problem. Not that tonight was a problem, it's not, but I believe I was being shown something. Actually it was kind of funny, except for the mouse, who did end up getting away, by the way. Ivo, you were being shown the power of your thoughts. For example, right now you saw a woman walking up the street with a t-shirt that reads, thank you for social distancing, and you muttered, stupid signs. It'd be a cold day in hell before I'd wear that on my back. Me, it's true. Ivo, however you shot low vibrational energy her way. Perhaps instead look at the person and feel compassion that she has to sell her soul in order to make a living. Me, everyone has to do that, pretty much. Ivo, you do not. You get to celebrate your soul by doing the channelings. And you are in touch with everyone else's as well. Me, I know. I'm lucky. Ivo, all low vibrational thoughts must go somewhere. Energy is love in action. If you are looking at another person, talking to another person, or thinking about another person, that is where your thoughts are going. You must become very aware of this and stop it if it is negative, because you are doing no good for the world this way. Me, true. Ivo, I will keep reminding you as you need to be reminded. The other thing I remind you of is giving yourself negative thoughts. Be careful about what personal messages you give to yourself. Me, I'm taking on the role of putting out messages to the Angel Light Warrior group now as well. That's fine. I'm an influencer and I have to use that to the best advantage for the light. I really think this is important. Today's message was that the Philippines is going to start arresting anti-vaxxers and we really need people to turn that around for them. Are we going to take this sitting down? I don't think so. Who's in charge of this world? We are. Now, if someone sends me negative energy that said, you are going to lose all your channeling abilities, would this be possible? Ivo, indeed, other people can control your reality. If they so desire. It happens all the time, it is called the matrix, but there must be some cooperation. You have had people send you negative energy which has robbed you of all your ability to work. Me, yes, until you blocked her. Ivo, which makes a point. Employing shields against the negative energy of others, against the negative energy of those with attachments, against the negative energy of life in general is good energetic maintenance. Repairing holes in one's aura is also wise. And deleting energy cords from others is worthwhile doing daily. That way you walk as a more focused, authentic person. With too many cords, you give too much energy away, and we all know this, the parent who is always on the go, running from one demanding family member to the next. This person is poorly corded and must detach these cords and take their power back, literally. This is how re-empowerment of a personality occurs, when you release cord attachments and you literally have more energy to empower yourself on the mental and emotional levels. Doing such a thing reflects a change in your physical world of a person becoming more assertive. The problem with being connected to others is that they are connected to the negative matrix. Unless they are cognizant of this, and work to keep their aura clear, 
then being cord to them can be a problem for you. The other way you are disempowered is through negative messages you give yourself. And so you must be cognizant of them as well. Me, for example, the I'm busy messages come up, which mean, I have too much to do. So I change them to I've got this, I can handle this. I can set priorities and deal with it all. I can see the job I'll be doing versus Ivo's, who will be working with the TV station. I can see that lovely man, sitting looking up at me as I think about him. He's got his legs crossed. But yeah, I want to discuss this in more detail because I need a reminder. Oh oh. There's the ambulance and the police. Ivo, send higher energy to Mrs. Roper. Me, she's in better health than I am and she's 80. Ivo, send her higher energy, my love. Good. Me, yes, she's one of the characters in this neighborhood and has taken on the role of animal protector for every animal she can find. Very concerned about Merlin's bad knee a couple weeks ago, but we got that fixed. He has a ligament problem in his right knee. Vet said it was a football type injury. Merlin doesn't play football and I don't understand football, but I'll take his word for it. Ivo, it is hard work for all of you upon earth to stay out of negativity, but now more than ever it is important. Practice, practice, practice. When Sue had that conversation with you, she created the possibility within your mind. Even though you said it was not really possible for any other animals to come in, or that you hadn't had a problem with it, she still put that bug in your mind. The reason you did not see it as a problem, but rather as an amusing incident is because you do not see it as a problem. Period. So you were amused when the mouse flew through the cat flap. When you talk about people gossiping and backstabbing, you are sending the person negative energy. All people bring gifts with them. It is a question of seeing the gift. Pain is a wonderful teacher in the lower dimensions, we have dispensed with it in the higher dimensions, but it does motivate one to seek solutions. If you must, envision every person you interact with or even think about, as holding their arms out in a gesture of giving. What are they giving you? What are they showing you? What wisdom do you have to gain by understanding their being in your life now? Because it is your show, your life, your movie, your play, the novel you are writing. It is all for the learning. When you see everyone who is in your life as bringing a gift to you, then you will stop hating others. Your neighbors are giving you the gift of giving. You help them out because they are having a hard time right now, and so now the boy will have new summer clothing, which they cannot afford. You have always wanted to help people through philanthropy, now you are doing it. They are also teaching you to do this with hands off, because you realize they overspend in many ways and do not understand that if they curb this spending, they would be able to afford more. They think they are doing well with their income. Me, I remember someone who had purse habits, would buy all sorts of expensive desserts, and squandered money like mad when she couldn't afford to, so I just shut up. I give them what I give them with no strings attached. It doesn't give me the right to tell them how to spend it. Ivo, others come to you with their information and their talents, and they are allowing you to post up pages about their work on your website. This is another gift you get to give to others, responsible caring contacts you have that can help the people who follow you. The section on our website is called Light Workers in Their Roles. I've found some interesting people. Me, yes. Stephanie also deals with helping targeted individuals, so she's a real gem, I think. Ivo, energy is always in motion, it never stands still. If you think negative thoughts about another, they receive it, perhaps not consciously, but they do. If you think positive thoughts about another, the same applies. The way to deal with the DS is to love them. Send them love. It is not their vibration, but it is yours. You are enforcing your own I am and standing before them as if to say, I do not approve of what you are doing. You do not control me. You can live a lifetime just sitting on the couch. Your thoughts are everything. Yesterday when you went to the store, 
you said that the car parked in the spot ahead of yours will be gone so that you can pull straight out. However, you have also said that every time you get into your car in a parking lot, one of the spots adjacent to yours has owners returning to their cars. It never fails. So because you said this never fails, the man did return to the car across from yours and spent time on his cell phone so you could not pull straight out. You had to back out of your spot instead. If you had said that this was the predominant thought, then he would have pulled away to allow you out. Your mind is a super accurate manufacturer of reality. Whichever is the predominant thought, will prevail. If you have conflicting thoughts, then often you end up with nothing, no progress in either direction. You must make a finely tuned, sharp as steel, projector of energy of your mind. Very focused on one thought that you wish to create. No more saying, I'm too busy, which means I am overwhelmed. If you wish not to be overwhelmed, affirm the opposite, I've got this. I can do this. Me, yes, old Weight Watchers meetings taught me this. I did do it too. LOL. Ivo, send positive thoughts to all, thoughts of compassion, understanding, not anger. Me, maybe I don't want to relate to what they're doing, though. Ivo, it does not mean you agree with them, my love, it means you feel for their plight. Me, okay. Ivo, yes, many of you use anger as a barrier. You say, I am behind this barrier, and everything before you is subject to your ire. Take these limits away from yourself and say that you have compassion for all life. It does not mean that you agree with all, it means that you simply relate on some level, either through past experience or simply because you can. Your soul is compassionate. Exercising compassion connects you to soul. Me, I had another idea last night, Ivo. People are asking us how to become more telepathic. If you're at all artistic, and even if you're not, try sketching a person's face from memory. Even a simple sketch. I use drawings to sketch from when I draw, I don't sketch what's in my mind's eye. But if you can learn to hold an image that you've taken from a photograph and resketch it on paper, then the more you are training your mind to hold an image in your mind's eye. In doing that I'm sure you'll be closer to seeing what's out beyond our visual abilities soon enough. I remember when I was astral traveling at first, I had trouble holding the images. And I could still stand to work on it, to be honest. One of the things I like to draw is caricatures. I've done politicians and Mick Jagger. Ivo, yes, this is a good idea. Also when practicing to become clairaudient, to hear voices in one's head, then begin to recite poetry from memory. Your ability to focus on words and to recall them will help you to become clairaudient. Me, there's a book out about that by Joseph Weed called, Wisdom of the Mystic Masters. He's a Rosicrucian and he has all these exercises for focusing the mind in this book. Ivo, very good, my love. The information is on earth. It is coming back out again. What many believe makes a focused mind is more caffeine, in fact it is relaxing and being calm that allows the mind to focus. Me, thanks Ivo. Ivo, you are most welcome, my love.